G'day everyone. Well I figure I may as well do a bit of an overhaul on this electric motor that I picked up a while ago. It's made by Betts Electrical in Australia. The part number is 12-028, uh, 240 volts, single phase, 2 watts, and it's continuous. It doesn't appear to have any uh, start or run capacitor on it. It might be built inside it. Because it mustn't be a very high horsepower motor because these two are vents here. Just under there is the edges of the uh, stator windings. So I'll open it up and just see what's inside it. If it's uh, fixable or not because it may have suffered a burnout. But yeah, it's a proper Australian motor. Made back in the day when these things were made properly. Not like today which it all just breaks. But... We'll get the whole thing apart, I've got to charge my camera up and we'll do a bit more assessment on it. There we have it, motor is apart, camera is recharged, all is good. The pleasing sign is that the windings on this side look okay, they're not uh, burnt or look like they've gotten hot anyway. There are, it's not a four pole, it's a two pole, the way you can tell is you got one, two, so whenever you've got two like that, that's two pole, so you got each pair that are opposite, that's one pole, so one, two. But on a four pole, you go one, two, three, and four. Now these inner windings here, they're the start windings, and these outer ones are the run windings. The way you can tell is the start is a lot thinner than the run, and it has a higher resistance and a higher speed on startup when you put a jolt from a uh, capacitor through it. But that side's all okay. The other side's a little bit dirty and a little bit of uh, grease on it, but other than that, it's uh, looking good. So, next step is to clean up all this dirt and stuff on the end bells, the rotor, and the uh, centrifugal switch, which still works alright. It's just, uh, I'll give another grease up as part of maintenance, but it should be alright to go. I've also discovered uh, RP7 WD40 works really well at getting the grease off. You spray a bit on a rag and just wipe over it several times until it comes off. But it doesn't hurt the windings at all. It's non-conductive, which is the important thing. And it works well. Well, one filthy rag later and the motor is clean. All of that grease that you saw previously is all gone. The front end bell is cleaned up and so is the rear one. A lot of that's just rust and rust stains and things, so it won't actually come off, but a lot of the uh, soot and, well not soot, but a lot of the grease and stuff in the bearings is all gone, because these have a wet oil bearing, where it's just like a little sponge in a um, retainer, and that holds a bit of oil, and it does work its way out through the uh, bearing journals and splashes on the outside of the housing, so... That's all ready to go back together. Next thing is to give the um, centrifugal switch uh, clutch a bit of a clean off or a bit of a lubricate and it can go back together. Okay, the motor is now back together. The way to uh, align the bearings on one of these, since it's sleeve bearings, not ball bearings, is to put both end bells on, but just have them loosely together. And then on the front one, you just tap each side two times with a hammer and yeah four sides tap each with a hammer and that basically you keep doing that until the motors as free as you can get it and I've also decided to put a new uh, cable on because the yeah, question is that even legal that's what was actually on it and yeah not too keen on that so they can go to the scrap bin and I've just decided to tidy things up a little bit I'm going to uh, put the ground there instead of on that loom there so you got no bare wiring or anything. And that'll just screw back on like so. Also made sure that those don't touch anything so it should be all good to go. Righto, we're all back together. It's all wired up. Let's give her a test. <laughs> Dims the lights though. I must be drawing a fair bit on uh, startup. It's working alright. Yes, it's going a lot faster than it looks. Shut up. 
Oh, it's that rattling. It's because the uh, AC. <laughs> oh, the uh, centrifugal switch might be a bit sticky. Wait, you just watch the lights are dim when this thing turns on. It's probably doing it the whole house, not only the rest of the family won't be too happy. Thanks for watching.